Assalamualaikum. My name is Sharifah Nadia Munira from class IM 1104B. My name is HD and I'm from 1104B. My name is Michelle. I am from class 1104B. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Nurul Afika Pintino Ariza from class 4B. Assalamualaikum. I'm Haslinda Binti Muhammad Sidi from IM 1104B. My name is Kimberly Anak Levian and I am from class 4B. First, we type the download window 10 at Google search there. Click. After that, we click the download window 10 this image ISO file. After that, download tool now. Click download tool now. After download tool now, we need just wait to finish download. After finish download the tool now, click after finish download. That will appear the info. We just need so click asset and then click the create installation media click and then click next and then click next also then choose iso file click and then click next click next after that save save as document click save then we just need the progress until 100% is depend in our so if finish then click click finish then step up is curling up before it's closed this is make version of virtual machine first you need to type virtual box then click this and Solaris host. I will choose Windows host. After it is downloaded, you can open it here. Run. So this is the virtual box. To create a virtual machine, just click this new and type Windows then it will automatically be like this. If not, we can just select it up our own. This is the place where it will be stored. Before that, to do this thing, you need to download Windows 10 IS Office. Okay, click on this. And choose the download tool in order to download it. Okay, let's get back to this. It is better for Windows to use 3 megabyte. For a better It's recommend recommended for 50 GB, so just choose this. Great. Proceed with this. Proceed. This is the place where you, we store it. You can choose. You can decide it on your own, but I will just proceed with it.
so now we're going to create uh, the to uh, to install to install the operating system so click the setting click on display I mean storage processor first because we want to change it if you they haven't changed it so first you cl click on the empty disk and then click on this disk and then choose the create virtual optical disk and then you can add click add and then click this window reel and then you click it and then you choose and then you click ok after that you can start it So you click next uh, and you choose all of the languages you choose all of the English and United States and US and click next and install now. And then click on the I don't have product key you don't want key in anything you can click on the windows then home next okay. and then click on the I accept license germs and then click next you can read it but I'm not going to so click on the custom install windows and then click next So now it's restarting. I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. After the installation, we choose the region that is United States and click Yes. After that, we skip the second keyboard layout and wait for a moment. So 
so now I'm gonna key in my email Gonna create a new account. Just click next. I'm sorry. Just gonna click. I'm gonna create pin. So I'm just gonna accept all, but I'm just going to. Okay, this is the virtual machine of this laptop. So I'm gonna use make it bigger. Like that. And then it PC this drive. I'm gonna use a 64 bit since I'm using right now 64 bit. Yes. didn't finish so it's going to restart it's going to make it smaller
and then keep space I'm gonna key in my pin So this is the virtual box, so I'm just going to open this and see that it's already been put, so I'm just going to make it smaller. This is your operating system. First of all, you need to know your icon. Okay, there is the icon of PC. Recycle bin. And then network. Okay, then you need to open document. And lastly is control panel. Okay, this is all the items in a control panel. All these things inside the control panel. Okay, please. Okay, UITM logos. Here I put UITM logos. And then click the picture. Set as desktop. And the result will be like this. Driver, let's start it. I'm going to use a device booster. Okay, so here, download free. Wait for a minute. See each one here. Wait for a while until the file is open. Click yes. Preparing for driver booster installation. Waiting. Install here. Just just no thanks. And then next. Okay. The file is prepared here. Okay, driver is going to be ready. Okay, just click no thanks and then scan now. Know this one, just go to this. Oh. 
Okay, see the driver up to date. Driver status is up to date. Okay, waiting until it done. no upgrade because I already update so all these thing I have 15 drivers uh, have been updated since so yeah all these thing have been upgraded so today so I'm gonna show you how to do a uh, this partition this partition is a is a way you can provide a separate space for when people are using your when the you have a computer that is you share it with your family so you don't want it to combine with your work so you can use this this partition to separate it or you can just manage it file in it or as an uh to install a multiple operating system in it so i'm going to show you how to make how to do uh, this partition which is you have to right click on the windows icon and then click on the disk management okay this is your first this is your uh, this or uh, your your main one so i'm gonna right click it again and then shrink the volume you can just uh how much uh keep uh how much give your mbu megabyte you want to put in there so i'm gonna put it to 5000 which is equivalent for 5 4.99 so i'm gonna shrink it 4.88 so it's become this 4.88 which become your uh this partition but it hasn't become it yet so i'm gonna put cl right click to new simple volume and then click next i'm just gonna leave it as is next i'm gonna change the name to h it's depend on you and then click next i'm gonna change it to external so and then i'm gonna click next and then i'm gonna click finish there you go. You already done. And it will be a message coming. There you go. There they are. So how do you know that you it's already been created other than the message? So we open the folder. And there you go. There you are. So you click the this PC. This is your separate uh, storage. Your this. So now I'm gonna show you how to do a uh, virtual memory. Virtual memory is for a, uh, a user that have a low RAM in their computer, but they doesn't want to buy an, a physical RAM that quite exp that expensive, or they don't want to go and take out their money. So this is a free way and easy way to create a, a, a virtual memory for your computer. So I'm just gonna click uh, Control. Right click that and then the, it will come this out so I'm just gonna click on the system click on advanced system setting and this is the system properties and so you're gonna click on the, choose the performance and click on the setting this one on the performance option you have to click on the advanced one so you have to change your virtual memory total paging file of this is 5 gb so that's mean 5 gb if you want to reach that and you're gonna change so I'm gonna unclick this automatic automatically pay, manage paging. So I'm gonna click that. I'm gonna uh, click this the custom size. It depends on you or you want did, do you want to use the external? You want to use the this partition that you have created or you just want to use the original storage that you have at your laptop. So I'm just gonna key in around three gb. I'm gonna click this, do the same, copy paste it. So I'm just gonna set. So it's already been set, so I'm just gonna click OK. So they will say that you need to restart your computer, so I'm just gonna click OK, OK, and then click OK. So I'm gonna they're gonna restart my computer. Your computer has been restarted, so I'm just gonna key in my P 
screen number so uh, the virtual memory has already been created why okay how, why, how do you want it how do you know it so uh, you need to search in key in a uh, system info system info key in that so you can just scroll down and here we go and this is your available virtual memory it's already been created now i want to create another account on a local account for my computer so that when uh, a local account so i'm just going to click this i'll go to setting click on your account at the computer your computer and then i already have an account for myself but i'm going to another like, account for local another local account for uh your friend your family or your uh for businesses to separate it so i'm just going to click uh add someone else to this pc just click, I don't have this person sign information, so I don't have it also. So I'm gonna click that. Just get, take a couple minutes. So, uh, key in your input, uh, your account. So I'm gonna key in my account. And then just gonna click next password his name okay what region do I have I'm from Malaysia where am I today so I'm just gonna click that. You can just keep it. You can, you can just next. So I'm gonna send it a code to your computer to your email. So it's gonna send you a a verifying code. So I'm just gonna key in the verifying code to make it more secure. So there you go. This is your account. You can change your account type to administrator or standard user. Standard user does mean you don't have uh, the right to, to to change anything within the computer, but administrator you have the authority within uh, the person who used the computer to change anything they want. So that's all. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to name it as a share folder. So this is the folder that we want to share. Just um, right click on this folder, go to properties, go to sharing, uh, go to share, uh, choose people you want to share with. Example, I want to ch uh, choose everyone. Add and share. So my folder is shared. And this is how you share a folder on Windows 10. Is we just click on the taskbar and click here the task manager and we will get it. And the second one is we just um, just type it here on the search. Um, we just type the task and click on the task manager, and we will get it. And the last method is we just uh, we just uh, press the window on the keyboard and R.
so we will get this uh, type uh, task mgr task mgr is the short form for task manager and click ok and that's it the first is you can type on the search box here type for device manager click and this is device manager and the second one is uh, search for computer management and click in this device manager as, as we can see, this is a device manager. And the third method, uh, how to search or run uh, device manager in Windows 10 is just uh, press the Windows uh, and R key on the keyboard. Enter the devmgmt.msc.se. Uh, uh, this is the short form for or shortcut for device manager. Click on OK. And this is device manager. And that is three method how.